Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a car AV editor here at Crutchfield, and I am here today to talk about Sony's new line of mobile ES amplifiers. Now, these mobile elevated standards amplifiers are the missing piece of the puzzle uh, that we've been waiting for ever since Sony relaunched their mobile ES line about a year ago. Um, they, they started out with their line of speakers and then added their in-dash receiver and subwoofers, and now they've completed the puzzle with these amplifiers. Uh, they're great if you want to not only have a full Sony Mobile ES system in your vehicle, but also want a full high-res experience in your car. These are the amps for you. Now, there are three things about this line of amplifiers as a whole that I really love. The first that you'll notice immediately are the aesthetics. Uh, the lines are clean and neat. They're not over-designed. They've got this beautiful brushed aluminum matte painted uh, chassis with you know glossy black highlights and just a splash of color with the uh, the mobile ES gold logo in the uh, center of it. So they look really striking when installed in a vehicle. The second thing I love is the fact that they are all rated for very high power output. Um, and as we know, the more power you can get in the car, the better because you're going to hear more detail and you're going to be able to conquer road noise a lot more easily. So they all have, uh, given their channel configurations, they all have pretty sizable power ratings, which is great. And the third thing that I love about the line as a whole is that their input stages are all gold plated. Uh, the preamp uh, inputs you will see all have gold plating, which helps transmit a really clean signal and it helps weed out any potential noise issues at, at the input stage. So gold plating is, is definitely a sign of, of high quality in these amplifiers. Moving on to the individual amplifiers, there are three configurations currently available. There's a mono, a four channel, and a five channel. So whatever your speaker configuration in the vehicle, there's an application that's just right for you. The nice thing about these two is that they all have preamp outputs. So if you wanted to use multiple configurations, you can just daisy chain them together so that you can pass the, in the input signal from one to the next. The mono amplifier is a, an absolute powerhouse. Um, it is rated at 1,000 watts RMS into a 2 ohm load, which is a huge amount of power, which means you're going to get lots of really good, deep bass extension. Um, and it's going to both sound and feel spectacular. The frequency response on this amp is also really impressive. It'll put out a signal anywhere from 10 hertz to 500 hertz. And 500 hertz is actually pretty high for a uh, subwoofer amplifier. Now granted, it's also got tone controls. It's got a, a low pass crossover, which you'll probably dial in underneath, uh, well under 500 hertz. Um, but it's good to know that it's got that headroom if you happen to need it. The mono amp and the five channel for that matter, also comes with a handy little bass knob that you can mount anywhere in the car and do bass level adjustments on the fly, which is really important because as we know, the bass levels can, in, in music can vary from song to song. So it's good to be able to ratchet it down uh, if you need it and then crank it back up uh, if a song demands it. Now with the four and five channel models, there are a few things that I really love about these that they share. They both put out a lot of power, so they're great for extracting a lot of detail from your music, and again, conquering the road noise that we all have to contend with from time to time. The front and rear channels of the 4 and 5 channel models are rated at 100 watts into a 4 ohm load and 165 watts into 2 ohms. So again, tons of really good, clean power. On the 5 channel, the subwoofer channel is also rated for up to 750 watts RMS into a 2 ohm load. So you'll get plenty of good, deep bass and a lot of power to mesh with your full range speakers. On the output stage of both of these amps, one of the things that I really like is that they offer a bandpass filter, which is unusual for amplifiers. They also offer high pass and low pass filters as you would expect, but the bandpass filter really lets you design a specialized system if that's what you're going for. Take the five channel model for example. You could use it to power a set of components and a subwoofer, then power the tweeters with the front channels using the high-pass crossover, power the mid-range woofers with the rear channels, using and apply the bandpass filter so that it only plays within a certain frequency range. So you're basically applying a low-pass and a high-pass filter simultaneously, and then use the subchannel to power your subwoofer. So each of your drivers is handling just the frequencies that it is maximized to handle. Now the input stage of these amplifiers is really cool too. Um, like all amplifiers, they will accept uh, preamp level signal 
and that's probably the preferred way to go. But as we know, in a lot of especially modern vehicles, uh, you can't replace the factory stereo. So these have speaker level inputs that allow you to tap into your vehicle speaker wires to provide the input signal for these amplifiers. That, however, can sometimes come with its own set of complications, especially if you're using a premium system that powers factory component speakers. In that case, you often need a separate box in order to get the speaker level signal from the tweeters and the woofers and combine them together to get a full range of frequencies to send to the amplifier, which can then power your new speakers. In this case, all that sort of functionality is built into the amp itself. You can actually configure it in one of several different ways to get exactly the right kind of input signal you need. One more great thing about the output side of these amplifiers is their frequency response. They're rated to play from 10 hertz all the way up to 40,000 hertz. Now, as we know, the range of human hearing is from about 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So why bother going all the way up to 40,000? Well, that way you know you're not missing out on any detail. Um, even if you can't hear a certain frequency range, the fact that it's there means all the detail is present. So you're going to get better depth, better clarity, and just a better musical experience overall. So if your plan is to play high-res music files in the car, either on thumb drive or from streaming services like Kobuz or Tidal, these are the amps for you. And the great thing, as I mentioned earlier, is that they mesh perfectly with the rest of the Sony Mobile ES line. The Sony Mobile ES receiver has a frequency response of up to 40,000 hertz, and their Mobile ES speakers have tweeters that are also rated to play up to 40,000 hertz. So if you put it all together, you get the perfect Sony Mobile ES ecosystem, and you can really enjoy everything that your high-res music files have to offer. And remember, everything we sell comes with free lifetime tech support. So if you buy one of these from us, and you decide that you need some guidance, either installing, setting up, or tweaking the sound, you can give us a call toll-free seven days a week. So if you need a hand designing the perfect high-res system for your vehicle, give us a call or chat with us online. Thanks for watching.